Hey guys, today I wanted to do something uh, a bit more special. I wanted to try a podcast style uh, just for the fun of it and to see how it goes. Uh, the podcast is gonna talk about my life experience and a lot of tips that are taken directly uh, from the products I'm offering. I'm gonna talk about how to actually build your funnel, how to get traffic to your funnel, how to increase the sales, pretty much everything that I usually talk about, but with the added like spin of how I like to do it, how I like to phrase it, uh, because again, I put a huge emphasis on lifestyle and on basically enjoying the path and doing it just as fast as possible and as simple as possible. So other than that, I've been getting kind of acclimated back to Israel. Um, definitely first time I came back and I was like, this is less good than, than Europe. Uh, usually I, I'm like, I'm in Europe, it's nice. I go back to Israel, it's also cool. Uh, but this time something was different. I was like, fuck man, <laughs> I have to go for a long, long time. So I'll be going to Thailand uh, by the end of next month. I guess I want to see how it goes with the passive income things since right now I've basically made this uh, you could say sort of an uh, kind of an oath to, to myself Turn you could right. say uh, to not uh, coach people because that's such an easy way for me to make you know a couple of thousand dollars uh, just per person uh, so I want to rely on passive income to live there and I just started like a two, three weeks ago to promote, promote my products and I expect that by the end of uh, this, I mean next month, in like 30 days or so, I'd already be able to live completely passively, uh, like live actively, but make money passively uh, from the products. So definitely I'll take you on this journey just like I love to and um, enjoy the podcast. So, welcome to the first official uh, podcast. First of all, let me apologize if the sound quality is not uh, up to par, because uh, this is going to be kind of a long podcast. Uh, I'll have to review everything later, uh, check out the equipment, see if it's good enough. And uh, so if it's not good, just bear with me. Uh, I'm talking to you here from Israel. Uh, as stated at the beginning of the video, not really liking it as much as I used to. So, probably be off to Thailand in uh, about a month or so. Now, the cool thing about Thailand, uh, which I've talked about previously in my videos, is that you can actually live in Thailand for around $1,000, maybe $1,200, uh, quite easily actually. Um, and in a fairly high, um, uh, kind of, you know, not, of course, not luxury or something, but very, very nice uh, living situation. Uh, so you could book a, a hotel, a, for, a cheap four-star cheap four hotel with breakfast and everything uh, around this season uh, and get it all for around $1,000. Um, you know, if, if you make some... Uh, some small sacrifices here and there you can even drop the price down to 700 600 dollars a month uh, for basically a hotel room in a nice place uh, but without breakfast i guess so why am i saying this why am i telling you about you know thailand and living off 800 dollars and all that shit? well the reason i'm saying it is because Again, as I've stated in the beginning of the video, I'm basically, um, I have made a decision, a commitment to myself uh, to stop with the easy shit, which is uh, closing basically the big clients, uh, anywhere between $2,000 to $5,000 per client, uh, because the problem with that is that I'm a very moody person. So I have, uh, not moody like, you know like you would picture like <laughs> angry and stuff but moody as in i have periods where i just don't want to work uh like a couple of months where i just i don't want to work uh i i just want to be you know i just want to 
relax. Uh, you know, I could make a video or two or something like that, but I just don't want to fucking, you know, hustle. <laughs> um, and the problem is that the way I've handled myself financially in the past was because I made so much money so fast and so easily, it was always this line of thinking of, well, more is just going to come soon, so I can do whatever the fuck I want. And that was true uh, until it wasn't. <laughs> and then I was like, oh shit, like, I'm, you know, I need cash because I've rented a really expensive place or I've uh, made a big investment uh, that's gone bad. And I would be in a kind of a situation where I don't want to work. So it would just be a lot of pain, a lot of pain. Uh, so the decision I made was to do it the proper way and actually build a proper sales funnel where I don't just get the coaching clients when I want, but I also have a big mailing list uh, of people that buy my products. So people uh, can buy you know, a, a future course I'll make for around $1,000. Uh, people are currently buying my $37 book and it's really nice <laughs> it's really nice waking up in the morning and seeing notifications from PayPal like this person sent you $37 this person sent you $37 now again it's not much it's not fancy but you know if you get like two sales a day which again I'm aiming to get by the end of next month uh, you're at around uh, $2,000, uh, correct? Sorry if my math is off, uh, but you're at around $2,000, uh, which basically means you can live in Thailand in a four-star hotel, a good four-star hotel, uh, and a couple, like a thousand, almost a thousand dollars to spare passively, which really makes all the difference for me because then you can decide to not work and make that money and really be peaceful and just happy. Or you can say, let's take it a step further and see how much I can actually pull out of this. And, and that's really, I think, is one of the key um, insights, you could say, that I've missed over the last couple of years, where I was always about the quick money, but I never thought about recurring revenue uh, I was always, you know, just give me money as much as possible right now. <laughs> so I always thought that recurring revenue is like for pussies or something. <laughs> I thought it's like a, like some sort of um, employee mentality. Where it's like, you know, oh, I just, I just want to see my paycheck. I just want to know I get the paycheck. And it's, it's really not like that at all. So what do you actually have to do to achieve that kind of uh, result? What do you actually have to do to create a situation where you are getting these uh, almost passive sales uh, coming into your bank account every day or every week? Well, the short answer is read my goddamn book. It's free. <laughs> And I talk about it profoundly, step by step. But just to give you kind of the longer version, what you do is you have to set up some sort of a sales funnel. And this is something that I had a lot of problems with because you have so much baggage coming into this thing, you know, the whole money thing uh, and business thing and selling thing that you have so many misconceptions and so many falsehoods and myths injected onto you that it's so hard to just start out like the process of i've went through personally on a business level was that of simplification i believe i know now less than what i ever did and <laughs> I'm always amazed how simpler it could get uh, in terms of what you need to focus on to see results. Uh, you know, so I, when I was uh, just starting out, 
the very idea of selling was fucking scary. Like, I had no idea how to actually make money online. Uh, so I attacked selling first. And I thought it was this big, ginormous, scary thing. And uh, nowadays, I can literally sum it up by uh, give the person so much value in the call that he wants to buy. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Of course, you, it has to be the right person, but, but yeah, it's pretty much that simple. Um, so I found out later that it was actually the same with business in of itself. So it's literally the three-step uh, concept of bait, and the bait basically attracts the person, and then you reel them in, and then you close them. Um, so it's actually exactly the same kind of thing. Like imagine uh, somebody who sells olives on the street. Uh, what he does, he offers people, hey, want to taste an olive? Sure, why not? It's free. You taste the olive and now you're in the web. And basically that person is now, okay, I can see that you like them. How many, how many would you like to order? <laughs> now because you like them, you're probably going to get them. So how did he do it? He had a bait. So literally all that this shit is, you basically bait people um, into things. And then you give them what they want, which is pretty important. Because if you don't, they're not going to continue on. And then you close them uh, by kind of raising the bar a bit. And then you bait them further and then you close the bar. Um, so so the, the business model that I would use, uh, I would bait people by using my free content. And I would say, hey, look, you can have a free consultation with me. And then I would just skip the value ladder, like instead of selling something cheap and then higher price, higher price, whatever, I just went straight up to the top, spent like three hours with these people, and one in four, one in five would close up to like $5,000 uh, within a call or two. Why? Because it just gave them so much value, uh, so, such a big bait that I caught the biggest fish, you could say. Um, but there's a lot of middle ground. So, you know, I'm, I completely took uh, a, a blind eye to the in-between area. For example, so many people watch my videos and like me and follow me. Why, do, why does it have to be like, okay, follow my free shit or pay me like thousands of dollars? Why can't somebody just buy a book for $40 and I'll make it easy for him? I'll, make like a cool sales funnel where I bait him into it again if you want to see how I do it go to my website and leave your details you'll see what happens um, why not do that and then once I have that why not um, email the people that did not buy and tell them like hey man you did not buy uh, I, I'll give you a discount maybe you should buy now and then get some people like that and Sorry for the noise. And then add some more bait by uh, then offering something more expensive, like, hey, uh, uh, a course or something for $297. Uh, and again, baiting them into it. So because it's a bigger thing, the bait needs to be bigger. So it's not enough to just say, like, hey, this is something for $297, buy it you actually have to like for example get them to sit down for one for a full hour maybe and watch like uh, a really value-packed video that also demonstrates what they're gonna get uh, this is giving them value again you're not trying to convince them to buy you're simply giving them more and more and more value um, even by saying like this many people bought it or I'm closing tomorrow this also gives you them value simply by making them feel more special for getting it so it's actually a form of giving value not taking and you know when you have that kind of funnel set up you basically make cash uh, day in day out and the cool thing about the internet which I talk about profusely is the fact that everything you do um, grows not linearly but exponentially so 
whatever growth rate you have today, if you just keep it up, it's gonna curve up. And that's really the key to scaling. So yes, you can reach a couple of thousand dollars relatively quick, but the hundred thousand of dollars, that takes a couple of years, but you can get there just the same if you just stick through it. And again, what helps you stick through it? Having residual income that comes in every time. Passive income. Now, what you need to learn, again, is the process of the sales funnel. It's to understand the psychology of a sales funnel, how it works, how people actually go from visiting a website to actually buying uh, whatever it is you're uh, selling. And there's such a huge uh, kind of a mental uh, wall between making sales online and, and kind of the reality of it and actually believing it's possible. So most of you are, if you haven't made a sale yet, you're probably so scared of it or so kind of don't believe it, you can't really see how would someone pay for something online. And to be honest, a lot of it is actually your fault. Uh, people who don't believe that other people actually sell things, uh, buy things online, are usually people that never bought anything themselves. So what I've at least noticed in clients is that the more you believe that people don't pay online for shit, the more you don't pay for shit. Now, other than that, uh, in my book, I detail uh, to the extreme uh, the five steps to creating a business that generates over, uh, you know, thousand, $1,000 plus sales uh, within just a couple of weeks, uh, maybe a month or two. And the way I go about it there is uh, first step, I teach you how to create a high ticket item, a product that sells for over a thousand dollars and why it's actually easier uh, to sell that kind of product than sell something really cheap. Uh, the second chapter I talk about how to find the actual client, uh, you know, who your clients are and how to actually find them. And the third one is where I talk about the actual sales funnel, how to build it, how to calculate uh, everything you could think of from the math of it to the art of it. And, uh, and then on the fourth chapter, how to automate things. And then finally, I talk about uh, the biggest mistakes that I've personally made. And you get this all for free. So I highly recommend you download the book. And uh, please let me know in the comments uh, what you think of this podcast style. And um, any questions you have, feel free to ask me here or via the Facebook group, private Facebook group that I have. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.